I've seen is one two or three year old ape boy. I can't hunt forever today. I'm gonna go to the bank and get something notarized and send some papers off. I'm closing on my first Missouri farm every day. It's a small piece, but pretty excited about it. So I have to get that done. Then I wanna go hang a new set. So I don't know how long we're gonna hunt today, but knowing I'm born has been a lot better than the evenings. If we had to lose any time, it might be out the evening hunt. But we seen so many deer in here yesterday, the majority within bow range. So we just need the right doe, the you know, big buck cruising, or even if he's locked down with a doe, which some of them are, some of the bugs are locked down. There's no doubt about that. But catch one in between does or get one locked down and he's gonna follow her back, follow her back from food or just traveling to this bedding area, coming to bed, who knows? I like our chances here. Made it to 11. It's seen about half the deer we seen yesterday. Seen some good deer. Just fletched a piece of new tack vein, so I'm dying to let one fly. But I didn't get to fling one today. The wind's switching around the northwest, which isn't terrible for this thing. It's probably better than the southwest, but I got stuff I gotta do today. My phone's going nuts. And I figured if we made it to 11, we'd do good. We did. Now, right now, I'm headed to town, then I'll see y'all this afternoon. Oh, we got a lot of edges here. That's a good thing. Stand. Wind 
side of the west, going to the northwest. And it's probably about a perfect spot to do it. Anyway, we got a decoy, put it out, climbing up in the tree. Saw one buck cruising. Then, as we were sitting here, Kyle saw another buck behind us, checked it out. The 10 pointer we saw this morning, he was by himself. He's now has a doe. He's bedded down with a doe about 60, 70 yards behind us. The wind's blowing close to him, if not to him, so maybe just a little bit south of him. So, we had, saw two bucks right when we got in. Hopefully, it'll be a good afternoon. Taco Bell, my head hurts, and the deer are moving when we're not hunting. So, how am I doing? Third day in a row, we're not going to show you the pictures of the deer that are moving today. I don't know that I would have shot them, but still, it's just the point of seeing really good deer on camera in daylight when you're not hunting, when you're checking cards, when you're coming back home from Taco Bell. Just kind of it gets old. You'd think, you would think at some point we'd say, okay, let's hunt midday. That would be smart. It's the rut. No. Just keep hunting traditional times. It's just like grained in us hunters that, you know, you got to come out for lunch and hang out, tell deer stories, and get back in for the last three or four hours of the day. I wish we could say today was different, but it's not. But we've moved across the road a good bit away from... Uh, what I would call the immigrants home core, but first time I ever seen him two years ago was right here. He was cruising. Uh, it was November 17th, 18th, something like that. He was cruising hard and uh, you never know, he could be over here. I got a camera right there. It's not a non-cellular camera I'm gonna check before we go. But good luck boys and girls, my dad. Hopefully my dad will kill tonight. My, Matthew's hunting too, but he don't, he don't have a camera guy. He stinks so bad, I want nobody sit with him. Just kidding, Matthew. He's pretty in there walking in the shade like that. There he goes. Dang, he's a toad though. He's at least a four-year-old. see us.
We've seen bucks back here bedded with does. I'm assuming he's probably going back here trying to catch some of them does. But either way, good encounter. Glad we saw him. Uh, not sure anything I could have done different except been where he crossed. That was about it. So, hey, tomorrow's another day. First time we've ever laid eyes on him. No, that's the first time that deer's probably seven and a half, eight and a half. It really hadn't got our attention until last year. You can kind of real massive eight pointer and we had some other deer was hunting so we didn't pay much attention to him. Then we found his sheds and uh, they were impressive so this year he looked pretty good and I think he damaged one of his beams and fell but he still looks good, wide, pretty deer, real mature deer so that's a good thing. I'd well, rather shoot him than the other one just because of the age and uh, he got a lot of character in them horns so we know this. It's another piece of our puzzle. We know what ditch he come out of. Same one we had a picture of him in a couple days ago, midday. So we know we're honing in on him. Not sure it's going to help us, but it should. Thank you.
this wind is terrible. It's ripping. We've seen a few there, but I don't think I can shoot. This is hurt like a hurricane. Tornado type conditions. 2020 is crazy. Crazy night. Nice. That's gonna scare him off. That's when you want a button to press it and that decoy go on the ground. Yeah. Oh, what do y'all want somebody out there listening to invent that? Huh? Need it for deer and turkeys. Press what? a button and decoy lay down flat. Like a piece of plywood. I messed it up. I shouldn't have took it. Of all the nights to take it. Well. It is what it is. I know that's what I said. That's what it is. At least you've seen a big mature deer. We ain't, we have not seen a deer over four and a half. That's the first time. Maybe that deer not four. Maybe that deer, yeah, maybe he was four. I try, I had peaches on the doe and didn't want to shoot her. We seen four coyotes. First one, one, yeah. force wind. You first one came by one. running. Second one came by, he goes and tries to stop it. He goes, that thing takes off. Next one come by and go, man, it takes off. <laughs> And the fourth and came to about 50 yards, I couldn't shoot it. It was terrible. Yeah, he's all in there. Say so what? Immigrants all in here. Where, where is he at? Where you hunted tonight? Yeah, where we hunted tonight, he was here at 130, so we had a good hunch to go there, but we're this other spot where I'm checking this card now, and he's all over it now, right after dark and into the night, so he's not far, he doesn't have a doe. Interesting. I knew when I went in there and hung that camera. What do you say? Young one. I knew when I went in there and hung that camera. He was something was making all that sign in there, and it turns out it was him. We didn't see much tonight. I mean, it was just kind of a crazy night. Got really cold again, just like Monday night. Super cold. Wind chill got down to 20 in a matter of seconds. It felt like, and we seen a few bucks. Seen that three or four year old good encounter. Um, it was really too windy to even do an interview um, the last couple hours of the hunt. So it was a good hunt. This MRI we're getting on this buck is getting me fired up. So um, don't know where exactly to hunt in the morning or tomorrow, but we'll come up with something.